Alright, so we're going to get... What we want to do is heat this rapidly. That's why I'm using this torch. And just the... Uh, um, just the cast iron part. So, to help balance the forces, I put the nut in, the, uh, in a cap wrench. So we're going to try that and see how we do here. Keep in mind that this manifold has been red hot many times in the past, so... Oh boy. Well, what was that? Uh-oh. I think we lost our, uh, our extractor again. This thing's kicking my ass. <laughs> Okay, well. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, I don't know, guys. Two breaks on this. It's maybe unextractable, huh? Yeah, that thing's cracked through. Hmm. Alright, well. Yeah, I get that pretty hot, so it should have expanded that a little bit. Okay, well. Hmm. Plan C. Okay, so we got this, uh, <laughs> We're going medieval now. Um, we got to do a little bit uh, better job this time. Um, we're probably just going to have to eat that whole thing out of there. I think uh, we're probably going to give up on these screw extractors. Uh, but meanwhile, I got to get that busted piece of screw extractor out of there. So this manifold has a, a, a strange angle here in relation to that. So what I'm going to do, I've got it bolted to a 246 block here. I got a couple of fasteners going through it. And what I can do here is I can vary this angle here um, uh, to get this square with the machine. And uh, now, uh, so what I want to do first is I have one bolt tight and one bolt just snug. I'm going to indicate the top of this and get this straight and then I'll do this direction here. So um, I just kind of got it, you know, I don't know, eyeball centric there. And um, so let's... Uh, Get our uh, indicator up here. You guys want to go across this here. Something like that. All right, let's see, maybe I can just tweak it. Yeah, there we go, like that. I'm using this little black face indicator. Let's see. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see, can you guys, uh, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, all right, get a hammer. So we're gonna go across here. Okay, it's not bad. Make sure I'm not hitting. All right, so that one. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to snug this down a little. I'll probably... No, 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 I'll put a clamp on the top. We'll see. This is probably... This is a pretty good setup here, I think. Uh, I can put a little bit of pressure on it. Um, where the last little bozo setup I had, I really... Couldn't put much pressure on. I might put a clamp on top too. Chicken clamp. All right. Let's see if it stayed. Okay, it stayed. I'm happy. Let's, oops. Let's go this way now. So this direction here. 
All right. Uh, you know what? I think I'll change the camera so you guys can see the indicator a little bit better. And then I'm just going to bop this around until I get it uh, trued up with the machine. So let me change that. Okay. So let's take our uh, let's take an initial. Oops. I should uh, put this in gear here so that we don't move around. All right. So I'm going to touch off, and then I'll traverse. Okay, so I'm falling off going that way, which means that side's low. So I gotta bonk it up a little bit. Okay, I might have went too far. Still falling off. So when you're not pivoting right under the center of something like this, uh, sometimes the the, uh, the readings can be confusing. So, okay, so now the, the needle's almost nulled there, as you can see. So what that means is I'm getting close. So let's try that again. And that is not enough to, well, let's see. you know what? You know, freaking tool makers can't stand to see an indicator move, right? It's the way it is. All right, you know, I think there's a little dip in that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten the snot out of this now. <clears throat> okay. All right, that's pretty good. So the other thing I'll do is I'll probably put a, uh, a jack underneath this because I'll be pushing well off of the pivot point here. So just to support it under here is, not, is a good idea. All right, let's get that out of there. All right, let me, uh, excuse me, get a jack and we'll put a jack under there and jack it up. So I'm just going to go right up into that, um, that bolt hole there, I think. And I got the, uh, the pointed screw, so it's going to kind of self-center in that and, uh, and uh, hopefully be happy in there. So I don't want to put much, much pressure on it. I don't want to push it out. So what is, all this is is really just support for when I push down here. Okay. All right. That feels pretty good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I think I'm going to put a clamp on that just because I'm a big baby. Let's see what happens. Let get this thing out of the way. Fit in there. Of course, it's like totally in my way here, huh? I don't think I have a bolt hole through there. No, so I can't put a fastener through that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, I don't know. Should I just try it? Maybe I can't use that in there. Nothing to grab. This thing's a little wide to go in there. Well, maybe I can get onto that. Let's see. Get a little pressure on that. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. All right. Are we having fun yet? Are we having fun yet? All right. There she blows. A mess. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and zero up just for uh -huh, there. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, 
Oh, let me change the camera. It didn't look great. It's not quite so good. So I'll change the camera, then I'll start trying to whittle that out of there. Okay. So this is what happens when you don't have a, an EDM to work with. Cold weather, I need to run my belt up and down in the rain. Alright, let's uh, see what happens here. Feels nice and firm, that's for sure. Yeah. So, uh, one away. I don't like my centering quite. Wow, I really knocked that one in there, huh? Ooh. Cut a chunk. All right, let's... Because I moved it a little bit. All right, so now I got... Let me get my little pick. All right, so I got some picks here. And uh, like I said before, carbide's generally not a big deal when if you break one down, something like this, because it just explodes into a bunch of pieces. And if you can get the, the little part, the little, wedgy particles out of there they usually come right out not always but most of the time it's probably getting ready to break through that was the uh, You guys can't see down this hole anyway, so my head's not, no, my head's not in the way, is it? Let me uh, pick at this and I'll get this crud out of here and then uh, we'll go to, what, uh, what are we on, C? We're going to go to plan D. <laughs> well, I've been picking at this thing for about a half an hour and I had to finally concede that uh, this was going to be a drill job and drill it out and uh, rethread it. Um, so I've been, there's been a stubborn little piece of the, uh, the tap, or excuse me, the uh, screw extractor down in the bottom. And I th think I'm pretty close to um, getting it free here. One here. I got all my little, there it is. All my little picks and stuff here. I'll show you some of these. So this is a uh, uh, H13 uh, um, ejection pin. Uh, and you can see the ends all chewed up. That's just an old prick punch and that's seen better days. Uh, dental pick, you know, that's been snapped off a bunch of times but still kind of gets at it. Uh, little tweezers for catching little uh, little bits and pieces, and then uh, you know as you loosen stuff, you uh, 
you know, you blow the little particles out and things just get looser and looser and looser and eventually uh, you, uh, there's still a, there's still a, something in there. Uh, it's just the ring of, oh, and this pick, this is an, a snap-on O-ring pick and uh, I really like this one too for this kind of shenanigans here. Oop, I don't know. I really care about that. Anyway. I think we got it all now. So that's the that's the bottom of the stud. In fact, you can kind of see it. That's the end of the uh, the stud. And uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to zoom in on that, and you can just see how freaking seized it was in there. It's basically welded, okay. And uh, yeah, okay. I can see clean hole all the way to the bottom. Uh, so this needs to get rethreaded and blah blah blah. Although this manifold's kind of junk anyway. So look, I'm going to zoom in on that, and you guys can get a better look at that. All right. So let's let's get a look at this thing here. I don't want to get out of the frame since I got such a tight shot. So you can see here. You see that? There's that's the bottom of the stud. So effectively, it was it was welded in there. You know, from all the heating cycles. And you know this this is an exhaust manifold with a turbocharger on it, so uh it was pretty hot. Well, I don't think this thing kicked my ass here. We got it out. Um this is an M10, but it's a real fine thread. I don't happen to have a helicoil for it, or I'd throw one in there just to say dead dog done and somebody else could use this manifold for something. Um I don't, even, I don't even think I have a tap, actually, I haven't looked yet. But, I don't know, I guess I don't feel so bad. I, I destroyed a uh, an extractor, but uh, it was actually, you know, this is kind of fun stuff, I think, and uh, I'm sure you guys liked it too, because you get to see me struggle with crap like this, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's it's the way it is, right? And you can either get frustrated by it or you can just keep working the problem and uh, uh, until you get to some solution <laughs> or, or you jump off a bridge. So anyway, uh, there it is. Thanks for watching, guys.